Sometimes when you get heavy laden, amen, you need prayer to pray stuff up off of you. You may be experiencing some difficulties. So come on to the altar. You can unload it at the altar, y'all. Come on down here to the altar and unload it at the altar. Somebody been messing with you at work, come on down. Somebody been talking about you at school, come on down. Somebody about you got to go fish the toe with somebody, come on down. Amen, because God is able to sustain us in the midst of every situation. Sickness in the home, trouble in the land. I want you to come on to the altar. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer. That calls us from a world of care. And bid me at my father's throne. Leave all of my cares and wishes known. Amen. Sweet hour of prayers. Amen. Bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we come to you now. We thank you, Lord, for how you have, first of all, haven't forgotten about us. We thank you, Lord, for that you were mindful of us even on this day. A day that is windy, snowing in parts, sun shining in parts. But Lord, this is your weather, and we're just part of it. We want to say thank you for being able to even enjoy the weather. We ask you to look on those that, oh God, that are even not among us now. Look on Evangelist and Clemmy as she's sick in her home. We ask you to touch her body now. As only you can, we're looking to you, God, that you would touch her mind, her spirit. We ask you, oh God, that you would get in the resources of her body now and give her strength over the situation that flu that oh god that, that that virus that she has and then lord we ask that you would touch even so oh god brother jared who's in jefferson hospital that's going to undergo an operation on tomorrow we ask that you would touch him now his feeble body we know that you are, can die the surgeon's hand we ask you, oh God, to give him a speedy recovery. Then we ask you to look on Sister Robin as she is recovering in Willowcrest building. Lord, even what you've done with her is an amazement. God, you brought her from being ran over. Broken pelvis, broken back, broken arm. And now, God, she's walking about. Hallelujah. God, only you can do that. We want to say thank you. She's able to eat now. We want to say thank you. We ask you to complete the work in her. Then, Lord, we ask that you would look on every wounded spirit. Somebody's here with a wounded spirit. Look on Brother Keith, oh God. The doctors are saying that he has so much of a percentage. But, God, you are a doctor beyond doctors. Oh, God, you can do the impossible. You can do, oh God, what will amaze the doctors. You are a heart fixer. You are a mind regulator. And we're looking to you. We thank you, Lord, for bringing Sister Simmons back to us, oh God. And in her sickness and her home and those that had to have operation, we thank you, God, that you were there with her and that you allowed her to come back into the house of the Lord. And we ask that you would touch now. Then, Lord, we ask you to look on the bereaved family. Harris and his bereavement of his cousin. And as he journeyed, oh God, to Buffalo, New York, we ask you to touch his, touch him now as only you can. And all of these that stand around the altar, Lord, you know what they stand in the need of. Someone here, oh God, is praying for their loved one. Someone here, God, their loved one may be strung out on today, but you have the power to bring them in. Someone, oh God, is bound in a, by an addiction. But God, we know that you have the power over the addiction. We ask you to look now on them. Someone here is broken, broken, oh God, with a broken contract and even with a broken heart. We ask you to touch that broken heart in the name of Jesus. Someone here, God, is having trouble on the job. We come against that spirit that, oh God, would trouble them even on the job. That, that, that boss, that one that would, oh God, cause them trouble even on the job. We're coming against that now. Let peace abide. Then, Lord, there's someone having trouble in the neighborhood. 
But Lord, when they go back home and, oh God, let everything be all right. Let peace be throughout that neighborhood, God. For these are your people and we ask, oh God, that you would give them, oh God, the strength they need to endure. And let them know that, oh God, the battle doesn't belong to them, but belong to you. So we're the love. 